Welcome back. So at this point we have a hero and we have a world. There's our hero. At this point he moves. Um, so we are going to make it so that the hero still moves but only on key control. So this is when we first get into some real Java programming. And what we are going to do is we are going to put all of our code in the act method because whatever we put in here is going to happen over and over and over again. So I'm going to type what we call an if statement, if, and then I'm going to put some stuff in brackets. Now, if is the start of what we call a logic statement where we have, we're going to test something. We're going to say, if something is true, then we're going to do something else whatever is in these brackets, and these are curly brackets. So here's my condition. So if I think to myself, okay, when someone plays a video game, what has to happen in order for the character to go to the right? Well, normally they have to press a button. And Greenfoot comes with a library. So if I type the word Greenfoot with a capital G, and the capital is important, you have to have that, and then I type dot, and then I type control space, you can see these are all the things that I can do given the Greenfoot library. And one of them is, is key down. And, but all these other things, take a look at. You can, you can probably figure out many of them on your own. And if I go up and down with my arrow keys, I can go through them and it tells me exactly what's going on. Some of them are more complicated than others, but that's the one we want is key down. And I can just click on it. And it finishes it for me. So it says if greenfoot dot is key down, and then here I'm going to put in quotes the word right, and then I'm going to take this. You notice I didn't delete it. I'm just going to move it right here. Okay. So just by making that little change, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to put a hero in the world, and I run it, and now notice he doesn't move. Now I'm going to hit the right key now. He moves. And that's because the code, the move 5 that I had, I didn't change that, but where I put it changed. I made it so that this, sorry, this only happens when this condition is satisfied. And that's the basics of a logic statement. So what I'm going to do now to make it move left is I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to paste right here. I'm going to change this to left, and I'm going to move negative five. So now I have two statements. One says, okay, well, if they're hitting right, move to the right five pixels. If they're hitting left, move to the left five pixels. So I run this. Oh, I put my hero in the world. And I go right. Then I go left. Fantastic. Now that's great. But then you think to yourself, well, what about up and down? And up and down is doable. The problem is that it's not on the same uh, horizontal axis. And so I need a way to change that and to make it go up and down the screen like this instead of going across the screen like this. And that's where we're going to change slightly what we do here. What we've been saying is move five, which is easy to, easy to understand. Um, but we're going to change this to what we call set location. So I'm going to change the location of where my player is. And let's go back here for one second. And we're going to think of our stage as a grid. If you remember from the first video, in the My World code, we find code that says our world is 600 pixels by 400 pixels. So what that means is right here are the coordinates 0, 0. Right here are the coordinates 600, 0. And down here are the coordinates 600, 400. And so usually in math you know coordinate grid to get bigger and bigger this way. And that's still true here because this is 0, 0, and if I go over, now we're at 600, 0. But for the y, 
if we start here in math, this is supposed to go down. But in this world, in the computer world, this is zero. If I go down, the y coordinate here is 400. So what I'm getting at is we're going to start thinking in terms of x, y. So what we have to get used to is that if our position is here, x and y are both close to zero. As I move this way, x gets bigger. As I move this way, y gets bigger. So if I go back to my hero, what I want to do is set the location, but there has to be two coordinates I want to set the location of my hero to. Now those coordinates are going to be basically whatever the hero was before, but I'm going to change it by a little bit. Because ultimately, what I want from my hero is to exist at a location, and then every time the act cycle runs, I move over just by a little bit, like that. So I'm going to go back to set location, and what I'm going to tell the computer to do is get the current x coordinate and just add 5 to it. And also get the current y coordinate, but don't do anything to that at all. Like so. So this line looks a little bit confusing, but if you break it down, all we're saying is, okay, if someone hits the right key, we're going to set the location of the hero to be whatever the current x coordinate is plus 5, and don't change the current y coordinate. Just leave it alone on the y. So if I run this code and hit left and right, they both work the exact same way. I've just changed the way I've done it because it's going to make moving up and down a lot easier. So for consistency, I'm going to take this code and I'm going to paste it here. And to make my guy move left, I'm going to change this sign here to a negative. OK, now that I've got right and left working in this way, I'm going to copy all of that. I'm going to paste it right there. And what you should notice too is that I have very nice alignment. Notice my ifs all line up and my brackets all line up. That stuff's important. Um, and I'm going to change this to say up, and I'm going to change this to say down. And I, if I go up, I don't want to change the x coordinate. Same with down, so I take those away. What I want to do is I want to mess with the y coordinate. So I'm going to make a little mistake here on purpose. And I'm going to go, okay, well, to go up, I must add 5 to the y. And to go down, I must subtract 5. It's a very common mistake. This is what happens. Put the hero in the world, left, right, and now I'm going to hit up. Now I'm going to hit down. And so I've just illustrated that we always think, because of math, we always think of the y coordinate getting bigger as we go this way. But in the computer world, remember, it reverses. At least it does here. So I'm going to change this to a subtraction and change this to an addition. Okay. And now, if we run our game, right, down, over, up. And yes, I can hold both keys at the same time. So now I have complete movement of my hero on the screen. And later we'll probably have to limit that because if we're making the true Space Invaders game, we'll only want them to go left and right. But this is the concept of movement. And you'll notice that going diagonally is easy. But really what's happening is if I do this, for example, I'll start here. If I go diagonally, all I'm doing is increasing the X and the Y at the exact same time. Okay, So it's all it all boils down to math, which isn't overly surprising in the world of computers. So there's your code right there that will move your character any direction you wish. And because this is key control, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little comment here saying this code is responsible for uh, moving our hero around the screen. And this is just good coding uh, practice where you should comment things when you're done. If I know that this is the code that does a certain thing, 
I'm going to put a comment here that tells the user exactly what it does. And that way if someone's reading my code, it's easier for them to understand. And in a similar vein, I should probably go up here and right here put my name. And right here put the version number. And I should write a description of what this class is doing. This is the hero who will shoot aliens. And this is a good way to stay organized. Okay, so now we've got key control. Uh, next up in the series, we're going to learn how to shoot. And before you know it, we will be destroying aliens and saving the world.